Hello everyone, so in today's episode we will make our first attempt to start this two-cylinder nitro engine. So if you watched my first episode featuring this engine, you should already know that I wasn't able to start it yet. Finally I acquired all the missing pieces and we will have a quick look through all of them. So this is so-called starting kit from EngineDIY.com. In this kit we get two glow plugs, short piece of fuel line that is commonly used in RC bodies, two voltage regulators for our glow plugs, and a fuel tank. If you are not putting this engine into RC model, you will still have to provide some kind of base. In my case, I just got a wooden base from a local hobby store. So let's proceed with glow plug installation. Be aware that glow plugs are connected with this spring tension mechanism. So make sure you have a proper connection between those two. So by default, two voltage regulators comes with this Tamiya type plug. But I decided to replace it with XT60 because those are the batteries I have. So not only I changed the battery connection plug, but I also made a connection a bit more convenient by turning this battery lead into a parallel one. So two positive wires goes into a plus and two negative wires goes into a minus. And we will have a separate circuit for a starter motor. This way it will make troubleshooting simpler, because motor and glow plugs won't be powered by the same battery. Our starter motor circuit will be even more simplified. So two wires are connecting battery plug and the motor. And I soldered in switch onto positive cable. This way I will be completing circuit with a single button press so I can start motor with a short burst. So cables are ready and let's connect it to our motor. So we are now outside and ready to give our first attempt. For a first launch I'm using 25% nitro fuel. I am not sure why but starter belt started to slip. And a few turns more. And yes, our nitro engine is finally operational. So this is aftermath from our first launch and starter belt still has to be replaced. Perhaps it was too loose or got some oil onto it. So this is just something you have to be aware of and hopefully you won't be repeating the same mistake that I did. So it was very unusual and interesting project for now I say thank you for watching and see you soon in my next modeling episode.